Hey guys, Evan Borser here and you're watching vlog number eight. This time I'm going to be talking about why Vimeo and how I use it. So one of the most important things that you very quickly realize when you start making videos is that they need to go somewhere. Um, and that constantly changes kind of as social media changes and whatnot, whether you're going to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or Snapchat or whatever new thing is. Um, but early on I started using YouTube and kind of realized that it wasn't an optimal place for my work to live. So now my portfolio consistently lives on Vimeo and that's what I would highly recommend for anyone looking to get into production. Sorry, I got an itchy face for some reason right now. Um, so I'm gonna really quickly talk about why I chose Vimeo, why I think you should use Vimeo and how to best utilize Vimeo. So this is my Vimeo uh, profile. You can see it at vimeo.com slash eborsier. If you wanna go check it out, see all my stuff. Um, so there's like two big things that set Vimeo apart from any other platform. Um, one of them is that it is uh, clean and controlled while still being uh, searchable. So like YouTube, you can put your stuff up on YouTube, which is where you're watching this, and that's a whole separate uh, conversation. And it's easy for people to find, but it's not a very controlled thing. You know, if someone comes and sees your reel and then they get like some bikini booze ad right after that, a client might be turned off by that. So Vimeo is nice because it's controlled in that like, I know they're not gonna necessarily, hopefully get weird related videos. Um, they're not going to, um, I don't know, just get generally assaulted. It's a clean, uh, format, but it's still searchable. Like if you Google me, you'll find it, you know, where there are other platforms like Wistia and stuff that, um, offer a lot of cool, clean, uh, presentation options, but aren't as good on the social media side, maybe. So it's clean, it allows me to have a, a really portfolio styled design, so it's um, not quite the, I don't know, I just feel like YouTube's kind of messy, like the channel setup and stuff. So this is cool, it allows you to highlight a piece here, which in this case is my reel, which needs to get updated. Um, and so yeah, so it's a good place for that, and it's just good the way it actually works. But. The second big thing with Vimeo is that it has a community and the community to me is really the most important thing because you can upload a video anywhere nowadays. And so Vimeo is really cool because you can um, get likes and comments on your stuff and a lot of filmmakers are in Vimeo and by a lot of them I mean basically all of them. So if you want to um, get questions about your work, have people give you pros, cons, whatever else. Um, Vimeo is cool for that kind of stuff because people will do that. YouTube, you can still get some of that, but you get a lot more um, random crazy people who have unrelated things to say. So that system's pretty cool and the likes thing is pretty cool. So it's a community where um, you can follow people. So say you're uh, any given person and I go find you on Vimeo. I can follow you so that I get notified whenever you post anything. And so one of the other big things I use Vimeo for with the community, aside from just receiving stuff from people, is that this feed is really awesome. So it has some, um, some slight downsides. One of them being that like, as you can see from this stuff, people tag like different companies. So depending who you follow, this stuff will end up in here. But there's a lot of really cool stuff. If you follow good people, it will show you the stuff that they're liking. Um, and so I can see that Daniel Jackson liked this video, essay on Superman versus Man of Steel. Or I can see that a million people liked this Under Armour commercial, Michael Phelps. But generally, if you're following a good set of people, you'll get a pretty good curated feed of cool stuff to watch, which is great for inspiration. Um, and so then I go through here and check something out and go, oh, this looks cool, I wanna watch that. You can add it to watch later if you're just making a list, but you can also like it yourself. So now say I've liked this video, and then in the future I decide, hey, I, uh, I gotta pull up a reference for a project and we're gonna be shooting something. Uh, I don't know what it would be. So let's look. So this is all my likes, every video that I've ever hearted on Vimeo. And I can go through and go, oh, we're shooting a really cool, um, 
we'll go with car commercial. And I saved this car commercial and we can check it out here. Like this is pretty cool. I like that car commercial. Um, but say that I want to like reference it in a job, you know, now I have the reference for myself, but another thing that I will end up doing a lot is like, say this last frame. I love this frame where they switch to the Audi logo with the, the donut. Um, I will then take this frame and screenshot it so that I have, um, a reference for talking to a client say, Hey, I'm thinking we can do something like this, like a top down shot with the logo. Um, and it's a cool reference, but whenever I need to dig up references, I just go through the stuff that I've liked on Vimeo. So I have this big pool of projects that I know that I dig for one reason or another. And so this is also cool because it's another community thing that like, say you want to see what I like, you can go to my Vimeo and you can go to my likes. Say you want to see what Khalid likes. Um, we can go to Khalid's. Actually, I don't know if Khalid has his own Vimeo. So, oh, he does. We're going to go back to this. We're going to go to uh, Max Goldman because he's the man. And he has only liked one thing. So that's kind of hard. So let's go to this guy. This guy's liked four things. So we can see what he likes. Um, and it's a cool way to kind of find really cool inspiration things. Chris Fenner. There's a bunch of cool stuff that he's liked. So I'll go through and, and kind of search for stuff and be like, this is really cool uh, motion graphic thing. And I like it. It's a cool reference for maybe I have to send a motion graphic artist. This is kind of what I'm thinking. So um, we'll like that and have it saved. So that's kind of real quick the way that I use Vimeo. So you have to follow good people. And then as it happens, like, so you kind of go down the train of, hey, this showed up. Let's say this is cool. Then I'll go to this guy, Charlie Watts, and I'll follow him. And then he'll, his stuff and activity will start populating my feed. And then when he likes someone else cool, I'll follow them. And so you kind of build this network that then fills up your feed with cool stuff for all the inspiration you can get. And it's just a great way to get connected. It's a great way to share your work. Um, everything embeds cleanly. So if you're gonna be embedding it in your website or something, I really like Vimeo's player. And it's just a great way to get your work out there. So thanks so much for watching. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts on YouTube versus Vimeo and maybe something else. Um, but I just wanted to thank our sponsors, uh, 64 Audio, who make awesome in-ear uh, headphones and um, Ear Trumpet Labs who make the awesome microphone that we're using right now. You should check both of them out and get their stuff. Tell them I sent you. They're awesome. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like this, you should check out my Patreon. We've been doing a lot of cool stuff on there. Just did some critiques of people's work. Like This looks great. This looks really good where they were able to send me edits they had done and I gave them some thoughts on the things I liked and things that maybe they could have done differently. Um, if you're in the Facebook group that I run, we're running a film challenge where you can enter and edit and you can win a lens or a microphone. So if you haven't done that yet, you can check me out on Facebook. And yeah, always doing cool stuff on social media, always trying to put out content. Let me know if you like this video. Let me know what else you want to see. And I will see you next time.